and welcome back everyone to our new Financial Friday segment. Today we're talking credit card debt. Skelly Gilbert with the Eminence Financial is here with the five things that you should avoid when it comes to using your credit card. Well, yeah. Uh, last time, Kelly, you gave me fake money. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now we're talking credit cards. I know, and I so heard about are you that, gonna? So I didn't bring any of this. I was time. like, Did you, are you gonna bring me? I, I'm not gonna bring credit, any card? credit cards either. I'm gonna help you. I'm actually gonna talk today about sure, how to I minimize try. them. Okay. How to minimize. So uh, the problem we have right now is that credit card debt again. I don't know if you know is reaching its new all-time high again. It is. Unfortunately, yeah. unlike last time, though, interest rates are going up. What that means is your balances you have for many credit cards overnight they're growing. It's it's just hard to pay it off. It's like hard to. Yeah. To get ahead, really. Yeah, you can't. It, they're, they're doing yeah. it against you while you sleep. So mm -hmm. managing your credit card balances, managing your credit card usage, I think is going to be really, really critical. And we got five steps to hopefully help people. To All right. That. Number one. Number one. The minimum payment that a credit card company gives you, don't pay it. Pay the maximum. Mm -hmm. The minimum is just a, well, that's interest only. It'll actually extend the debt. It's kind of like it, people think that a minimum is like your car loan payment. If you pay it off, it'll still get paid off the same amount no. of time. Nope. It's not. Yeah. So you make your maximum payment. Just keeping payment. you from from basically out of getting into collections is what yes, you're doing. You're just making all you're a minimum doing. payment. You're, you're yeah. extending it. So make mm -hmm. the maximum, not the minimum. Now, item number two is very tied to that. Don't Ooh, miss a payment. That's right there. Right. Will if you have, ruin. if you have to choose, if you have to choose between making a credit. minimum or not making, I would make the minimum. It's the better of the two oh, evils. Oh, absolutely. But missing a payment is the most evil. So many credit cards, they'll, they'll jack up your interest rates. That too, and your credit score will just fall. Yeah, and your credit score plummets, and now it, it has mm -hmm. a snowballing effect against you. Oh, absolutely. So those are really and that can stay on there two. for quite a while, too, on your oh, credit it report. Will. Yeah. It will. Well, five, seven years. You know. Oh, yeah, that's it. Just yeah, five, seven, just years. Five, seven yeah. years. And then number three, those cash advances, don't look at your cash advances on a credit card like an ATM machine. Uh -huh. Those are those are for only life and death emergencies. Not <laughs> anything above that. Not for heading out to the outlet mall. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, you got something no. good. You want to show off here and there. Don't don't use yeah. that. If, if you're thinking that way, contact me. Get some okay. professional help. Okay, <laughs> I'll help Kelly. out. I'll All right. Help uh, you out. Don't use those cash <laughs> advances. So that's the really the top three. They're pretty simple. But number four is 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 a little bit different, and I want to give a uh, uh, give you a, a, a way to figure out how many credit cards should I have. Ah, that is a good one. And balance, yeah, because you got that balance. The yeah. So if you have debt to income uh, ratio, what they say, what that. what what the yeah. experts say is that the number of credit cards you have to make it manageable, mm -hmm. you should be able to count on one hand, five. Now the best number is three, and I'm going to use this number for you. Best number is three. Three credit cards maximum. If you have over five, you're gone too far. Try and get down to three. Allows you enough time for the emergencies. Allows you enough time for the, the, the uh, have enough credit for uh, things that need, need to be done. Awesome. Let's get real quick. So wrapping it, wrapping it up. Number five, real quick. Running a high balance. High balance. You got to make those payments. That can ruin your savings. That can hurt you on your on your uh, retirement. If you're mm -hmm. going into fixed income, that is one of the biggest things we do with our clients. If you need any help on getting these balances down, contact us. West Wealth. Westmichigan.com. Contact Michigan. Kelly before doing any of these. That's right. WealthWestMichigan.com. No taking we'll out. Be able to help. No taking out any money from your credit card oh, to cash advance don't. to go to to go shopping. And keep those balances low because rates are going up. All right, Kelly. Thanks so much. We have more tips up on our website. Just at 13 on your side.com. Stick around. We'll be right back.